Hey guys, welcome to day two of our ratio recipe project. I'm Miss Woods. And I'm Miss Gross. And we are going to go over what you all need to do today for Tuesday's assignment. All right, so if you all can see this slide, it's got on one side the half the recipe, on the other side triple the recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and read our assignment for the day. We're going to talk about serving size. How many of each ingredient would you need if you had to half or triple your recipe? Answer the question in the text box to the right and left. And then after that, you need to complete Tuesday's exit slip, which we have linked below for you. And Ms. Gross is going to go ahead and start with the half the recipe and go over some examples with you guys. All right. Before we get started, though, I want to show you a couple buttons that you can use. If you have this little tab down arrow to show the menus, you can click view zoom and you can zoom in or you can zoom out so that you can see see your whole screen or like me I want to zoom in a little bit so that I can start typing those in and then I'm going to split my screen so that you can see what I'm doing and be able to see my calculation so I want to take half the recipe so the um, the first thing that we did is we typed all of our ingredients in and we typed in all of our original amounts so that you can see that you'll need to do that as well for yours we had 10 ingredients and they barely fit on the page so if you have if your recipe calls for more than 10 ingredients I would just do 10 of them just try to make sure that the 10 that you do have fractions in them um, so again we want our rest we want our recipes to have fractions in them so if you're recipe doesn't have any fractions go back and find another recipe the one that does have fractions in so we're going to take half the recipe so the first one all-purpose flour is two and a half cups and we want half of that so over here on my whiteboard I'm going to type in two and a half and because I want half that amount I'm going to multiply by one half now you probably are wondering like what how do I do this when you have this um, mixed number here so you want to change your mixed number into an improper fraction and if you've forgotten how to do that you want to multiply the denominator by the whole number so 2 times 2 is 4 and you want to add that numerator so 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and so 2 and a half is the same thing as 5 halves 2 and a half is the same thing as 5 halves and now I want to do 5 halves times 1 half and once you do that, then you can multiply straight across. 5 times 1 is 5, and 2 times 2 is 4. And so you can leave it 5 fourths, or you can turn it back into a mixed number by seeing how many times 4 will go into 5. 4 goes into 5 one whole time, so that's your whole number. 4 times 1 is 4, so there will be from 4 to 5, there's only one left, so it would be 1 and 1 fourth. But again, you can put it as... 5 fourths or you can put it as 1 and 1 fourth. So we're going to go ahead and type that in. All right, so let's look at the next one, the baking soda one. Um, baking soda is 1 and 1 half teaspoons. So again, I'm going to write 1 and 1 half. And again, I'm taking half the amount, so I'm going to half it. Um, also, since it is a mixed number, I need to change it to an improper fraction. Do it the same way. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So I have three halves, and I want to do three halves times one half, and you multiply straight across. Three times one is three, two times two is four. So half of one and a half is three fourths, and we're going to type that in. The next one is two two teaspoons now i'm not going to do this one on the board because i know half of two is one so i'm just going to type that in there and the ground ginger is the same um half of two is also one so there'd be one teaspoon there but let's go down to the nutmeg half of a teaspoon of nutmeg i'm going to do half times half because i want to do half of a half this one is no improper fraction so i can leave them um, the way they are, multiply straight across. One times one is one. Two times two is four. And half times a half is one fourth. So nutmeg would be one fourth of a teaspoon. And you're going to do that with the rest of those. I think we've got, I think the only other one that's different is the salt. So I'm going to go ahead and do the salt while I'm on here. One fourth. And I'm going to multiply that by one half. And do this the exact same way. One times one is one. 
Four times two is eight. So a half of a fourth is one eighth. And so um, then I'm going to fill out the rest of my recipe. Um, just go ahead and you do all of your work that way. Okay, now we are going to talk about how we need to calculate to triple the recipe. So if you see our ingredients, it looks the exact same as the other side on the half the recipe. So we are going to take the original amount of the all-purpose flour, which is two and a half cups. Since this is a mixed number, we are going to, in a minute, we'll go ahead and put it into an improper fraction. But we will do two and a half cups times three. All right, to get to our improper fr fraction, you'll do two times two, which is four, and then add one, which is five, and that is over two. So five halves times three over one. And then you multiply across, so you have five times three, which gives us 15, and two times one, which gives us two. And if you want to get it back to a mixed number, that would be seven, oh, seven and one half. And then we'll put it in our table. So seven and one half cups. Our next one will be baking soda. And it is one and a half teaspoons. Multiply it by three because we're tripling the recipe. And then we are going to get our mixed number into an improper fraction. So we'll do two times one and then add one. So you'll have three over two, which is three halves. Multiplied by three over one. And that leaves us with three times three is nine over two. <clears throat> and then if we want to put that in a mixed number, we will have four and one half. And we'll put that in our table too. And then we'll go ahead and do a ground cinnamon, which this one should be pretty easy and straightforward because it's not a fraction. So we will just do two times three, which will give us six teaspoons. Same for the ginger, that'll be two times three, which will give us six teaspoons. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go ahead and show you the nutmeg. So that is one half teaspoon. And we will multiply that by three over one. And one times three is three. Two times one is two, and we have three halves. So we will put three halves a teaspoon in our table. Or we can write it as one and a half. Yeah. Either way will work. And then you'll fill out the rest of the um, the rest of this, and you'll do the same thing. Hope this is helpful. Bye.